Hello everyone, welcome back to Be Cyberwise TV. In this special video to remember 22 years of the tragic terrorist attack, I'm going to explore how robust information security practices could have helped to prevent the tragic attacks of September 11, 2001, that killed nearly 3,000 people and changed the world forever. We will also delve some of the lessons learned and the challenges that still remain for the InfoSec community in the post-9-11 age. So, get ready, because today's video is going to be quite emotional. Let's get started. The 9-11 attacks were carried out by 19 terrorists who hijacked four commercial airplanes and crashed them into the World Trade Center towers in New York, the Pentagon in Washington DC and a field in Pennsylvania. The attacks were planned and coordinated by Osama Bin Laden, the leader of Al-Qaeda, who had declared war on the United States and its allies. The U.S. intelligence community had been tracking Bin Laden and his network for years, but failed to connect the dots and share the information that could have alerted them to the imminent threat. According to the 9-11 Commission report, some of the reasons for this failure were the lack of a comprehensive strategy to counter Al-Qaeda and its affiliates, the fragmentation and compartmentalization of intelligence agencies and their data, the outdated and inadequate information technology systems and tools, the insufficient cooperation and coordination among domestic and foreign partners, and the legal and policy barriers that hinder the information sharing and analysis. Now, Let's discuss how the use of robust information security threats could have helped to prevent 9-11. Firstly, by using the information security practices, authorities could have helped develop a comprehensive strategy to counter Al-Qaeda and its affiliates by providing a clear picture of their capabilities, intentions and vulnerabilities. The information security could have also helped identify and prioritize the key targets, indicators and sources of intelligence that would enable timely and effective action against the terrorist network. The InfoSec could also have helped overcome the fragmentation and compartmentalization of intelligence agencies and their data by creating a unified platform for information sharing and collaboration, and helping to establish common standards, protocols and procedures for data collection, processing, analysis, dissemination and protection across different agencies and domains. In addition, by using robust information security practices, Authorities could help to point the need of upgrade and modernize the information technology systems and tools that were used by the intelligence community, as well help it improve the cooperation and coordination among domestic and foreign partners by facilitating trust, communication and interoperability among different stakeholders. But it doesn't stop here. A more robust InfoSec in place could help the create mechanisms for joint training, exercises, audits, review and feedback that would foster a culture of learning and improvement within the intelligence community, and help it to overcome the legal and policy barriers that hindered information sharing and analysis by providing guidance, advice and oversight 
on the ethical, legal and social implication of intelligence activities. In conclusion, the 9-11 attacks exposes some of the weaknesses and gaps in the US intelligence community that could have been prevented or mitigated by using information security practices. Since then, the US government has taken several steps to reform its intelligence system, such as creating new agencies, laws and programs, for example the Terrorist Screening Center. All of this focuses in the improvement of information sharing and collaboration among different actors. However, these reforms are not enough to ensure that another 9-11 will never happen again. The InfoSec community still faces many challenges in dealing with new threats, new technologies, new actors and new environments. All of these requiring constant vigilance, innovation, adaptation and evaluation. Thank you for watching today's video. I hope you found it informative and interesting. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos on information security. See you next time! As always, stay safe and be cyberized!